welcome Uganda's Harvey Milk, Uganda's Edie Windsor, and now she is New York City's 2015 Grand Marshal for Pride. It was too much love, too much emotions, but also a very motivational um, period for me that um, so many people would stand on the street just to wave at homosexuals instead of standing there and um, trying to beat them up or round them up. Even just seeing the, the police marching with us, it was really a very interesting thing because in Uganda I would definitely be running away from police instead of marching with them. Two years ago many of my colleagues were exposed in the media. Many lost their jobs, many got beaten up and many got evicted. Very many people wrote and said, Kasha, can I write about my family? Kasha, can I write about religion? And I made it very clear that anyone can write anything that they felt comfortable with sharing with the community. We've seen the media coming out and exposing people perceived to be homosexuals. We've seen the media calling for the hanging of homosexuals. And this is the only message that Ugandans get. So it was important for us to bring another narrative to the stories that are, are portrayed in, in the media. We received phone calls from so many people saying my son could be transgender and I didn't know what that meant. We received um, calls and emails, people saying what have you been waiting to tell us this, we are only getting one side of the story. Uh, and of course we received a lot of threats, death threats, uh, and we received a lot of harassment from the Minister of Ethics and Integrity. After the first edition of the Bombastic magazine, we received a lot of requests from very many people and we, we couldn't cover the, the whole country, yet we want to cover the whole country and we are planning to, to publish a second issue, but we cannot do it on our own. We need your support to take it to the people who are out there, who feel lonely, who are part of our movement, who do not know that we exist, or people who need this information, people to see the stories and know that what they are going through they're not going through alone because you've been where we are today. You've made strides in your communities, in your countries. So we need a lot of support. We need to share best practices because we need to document our struggle so that the future generations get to see where we've come from today.